A small patch of charred ground marks the site of one of New Zealand's worst ever air accidents. An early morning balloon flight across some of the country's most beautiful scenery ended in a fireball. All 11 passengers, including the pilot, were killed. The balloon had pulled a power line up, so it was probably three power pylons high, um, and, and it was trapped, and, it was, so it was stu and the power line was stuck on top of the basket, the, the wicker basket, and, um, and, it, and it, it must have burnt through, and then released the, the balloon, and, and the balloon went skywards. Flames were just licking up the side of the, the basket, you know, and um, they, were, they were right up into to the wards of the eye ropes. And, and getting very close to the bottom of the, the, the balloon itself. And I just dropped the hose and ran inside. I knew it was, it was a problem. It's believed some of the passengers died jumping from the burning basket. The accident happened in Carterton, a rural community north of the capital Wellington. We believe that we know the identification of those people. It appears that there were five couples on board along with the pilot and those couples are from the greater Wellington region. The pilot and balloon's owner is believed to be Lance Hopping. He had more than a thousand hours flying experience, working in a region popular for balloon flights. We know everybody, and we know the balloonists who live amongst us. They're a very tight-knit group. They're considered to be very professional, and they're very highly regarded. This tragedy has hit our community deeply, the balloon industry at the moment will be in quite a bit of shock. We'll be analysing ourselves, talking with CAA, talking amongst ourselves, seeing ways forward, finding out what went wrong is the most important thing so we can find out how that happened and how to put strategies in place to stop it happening again. An investigation's now underway. It's been reported relatives of some of the victims saw the accident. They'd given the sightseeing flight as a gift. Jonathan Samuels, Sky News, Sydney.